Hi there. So I'm just chilling with my dog right now, uh, Clover. She needs a bath pretty bad. But, uh, you know, they say that having a pet, like a cat or a dog, reduces stress. I know that not a lot of you have pets, but a lot of you do have stress right now. And especially the parents who are working from home, also raising their kids full time, you know, helping them with their t school work, managing their day to day uh, activities. We know that this is not a, a sustainable kind of pace of life, but we are also confident that things will eventually change or an end will come to it. We read in uh, James chapter 1, verse 12, though, that blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Now, the, the context of this passage is the trials of uh, persecution for being a Christian. So this is a little bit different than what we're experiencing here, but we are definitely going through a trial. And the promise is that those who persevere under trial will receive the crown of life from the Lord. We don't know what the crown of life explicitly is. Is it something that we receive in heaven? Is it uh, a literal crown that we'll receive in heaven? Is it something else? Is it just the promise of life as opposed like spiritual life as opposed to spiritual death? But the promise is that if we persevere, so every day when we wake up, you know, a lot of you are feeling tired of, of going through the motions again and, and going through this, just the same schedule over and over again. But the promise is that if we persevere, we will receive a crown of life. We'll receive the prize. And so every decision we make draws us closer to God or farther away from Him. And every time you decide to, to get up, and to turn on your computer to start working. Every time you decide to get up and, and make your children breakfast or to help them with their schoolwork, that's making a decision to persevere. That's making a decision that will draw you closer to God. And the promise from Paul in Galatians 6, 9 says, he says, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time, we'll, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. And so there is an end in sight, but between now and then, do not give up doing good. Continue persevering in these seemingly mundane or exhausting tasks. Because God will reap, you will reap a harvest, God, God says through Paul. And in other translations, it says a harvest of blessing. Harvests were good things, obviously, in an agricultural culture. You want a good harvest for your work. And so even though it doesn't seem like what you're doing is that important, maybe, even though it may seem uh, that you don't see immediate results, maybe you wake up and think, not again. But the promise is that you will reap a good harvest afterwards. And so I just want to encourage you today. Don't give up. We're, we're all in the same storm. We're all going through this. God is with you. And I am praying for you. And Clover apparently didn't like sitting on my lap anymore. Uh, God bless. And I'll see you soon.